Okay. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to Pixel Entertainment. Uh, this is our newest member. His name is Tyler, otherwise known as Noob, Noob Thunder. Thunder. Noob Thunder. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I am Taylor, or CP Hacker 95, or even Big Cat. No relation to Wildcat whatsoever. And then <laughs> on the only. end here, oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah, with another Taylor. Oh God. And then on the end, me. I'm Andrew, otherwise known as Lord of the Crazies One Two Three on YouTube or PlayStation Monterno Phones All. So, this video is the long-awaited DLC discussion. I have talked about this since uh, since September. Or with this guy, and <laughs> <laughs> he, he's actually from Job Corps, and I've been asking him to help me do this for a while now, and. and Look at this. Just so happens we're all here. It's this weekend. And we're at, all here. So Woo. at twelve twenty in the morning. Who gives a crap? <laughs> so to kick it off, we're gonna uh, trash talk Call of Duty. I don't care if you like it, I don't care if you hate it. Suck it. It's gonna happen. Suck it Anyways. up. Anyways. If you don't like it, suck it up. Oh uh, mini camos. Or mini camos. Oh M I mini DLCs it's just mini transactions. DLC with out no relation to the season pass. Wait, can I interrupt you for a second? So that's mini download downloadable crap. Yes. yes. Right. Yeah, of course. I'm gonna know it. Mini um, downloadable crap. So those who don't know, mini transactions are DLC for Call of Duty and for some other games that are outside the season pass. So Which if you're like me and you wasted your money on that. You wasted like nearly a hundred bucks. I spent eighty bucks for the game because I wanted the hardened edition, and then I spent 50 bucks for the season pass. <clears throat> well, yeah, at least you're not as stupid as me. Oh, you went full prestige? Yeah. I went care, packer, care oh, package edition. Oh, I am sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. Dude, the drone them. failed like from like a, a week. A week, it got stuck in a bush. <laughs> I, it's, it's practically busted. I haven't taken it out since like two years ago, maybe. When oh my god I I'm, I'm sorry for this guy. It's cause it's cause I wanted so, it. I saw everything that was in it. I'm like, dude, this is gonna be kick ass. Got it. This is bullshit. Yeah, exactly. So basically, both me and Monferno spent about oh, probably around a hundred and fifty bucks. Well, each. I didn't buy the season pass. No, you didn't. No, I only bought like some of the DLCs, not all. Some oh. of the DLCs in Black Ops 2 was good. I mean... I bought some of the camos, <clears throat> some of the DLCs. If you're going to play zombies, I mean, grab all the DLCs oh. you can get for zombies. But That's for, why like, I bought it. I, I even think... got Nuketown. Oh my god, Nuketown. You, with, you got that with pre-order. Yeah. Yeah, if you, yeah it, it, that was the lucky few if you can get that. Um, uh, about that. I pre-ordered it just so I can get Nuketown because I thought it was going to be exclusive. And within... Maybe six months, it became free for everyone. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, if you pre-ordered, you would have got you got early access. Well, early access. Even it, though six months later, you're gonna get it. Nah, it's it's I, Treyarch. You suck. <laughs> Treyarch, you're fucked. I had a lot of respect for them too. Treyarch and, was the gods of like zombies. And yeah. now it's just downhill from there. Yeah, I mean. Now you got but, Infinity War trying to go back at it, and then... But basically, what they're doing is they're pulling an EA right now. EA and, and Sports. And this is the game. game. I'll talk about that, but it's so f fucking stupid because they're going to release DLC within the season pass, and you're saving 10 bucks by buying it, Which but... That's, a, that's an advantage, saving 10 bucks. In... Then you have mini DLC, and it's just like, oh, cool, maybe I can get, get it like in the season pass. Get it for free. No, they oh, well, nope. they announce that it's not a part of the season pass. Well, no, because it's going to be like more like camo packs. Well, they should include it in the season pass then. Yeah, but know. but no, I mean, sometimes they're usually unexpected, and they can't immediately throw it in. But I already spent about 180 bucks on the I, game. I know, so. I feel bad for you. But a hundred and thirty dollars right then and there. Let's so get back. Pissed off. So let's get out. back on topic for Ghost. Okay, so Ghost is either <clears throat> coming out or is or already has came out with the last DLC for 
Ghost, and that would be Nemesis, which you're just getting more bullshit maps, map, map, so, map. Oh, hey, guess what? You're going to get your last Extinction map, which does just by reading it doesn't even look that good or read that good. So, so I'm going to guess um, it's going to be map, 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 where gun, no gun. Yeah, there is no gun. I mean, like, the first two, Onslaught and Devastation, you got guns. I mean, Onslaught, you got two. It was the uh, Maverick, Maverick's Assault and Sniper Rifle, which... There was one of them, I forgot which DLC it was, where uh, you they had, like, a Mike Myers-type gameplay. That would have been Devastation. Which, that actually looked pretty damn good. It was actually really good, and that would have been in, fog, in, the, in the map Fog. And then they k released, ooh, I think it was Invasion... Which you could play as the Predator, and which Dude. which I want to play just to play the Predator. I mean, try to get that. That's kill almost like um. Uh, you get the plasma cannons. That's almost like on um. Black Ops Two, where you can play as the um. The oh. Zombies. Yeah. Oh yeah. I know what game you're talking yeah, about. I, yeah, that yeah. gameplay. And then also but, uh, Left for Dead, where you can play online as infected. Yeah, but, um, and then in the second one, Devastation, if I remember right, you get the Ripper. The Ripper was an okay, it was an SMG AR. It was an SMG mm. and assault rifle hybrid, like the Peacemaker. Yeah. And just the Peacemaker word. Peacemaker was awesome. Just, just the word one. SMG, you, you were probably thinking of the Scorpion, because that thing is a piece of fucking shit. No, I was thinking powered. like the P90. Another shitty gun. <laughs> well, but SMGs are, has its advantages. You waste ammo really quickly. I, I just don't like SMGs. I hate them the so much. The fire rate kills you. <laughs> Especially the scorpion. That Wait, is there no SMGs on uh, Battlefield? Just, just curious. I don't there think is, so. Uh, is there? There is under engineer. Oh. Under what? Under engineer. The um, under engineer only. But, all right. That's one so, advantage. But all you get from the Ghost DLCs are just map nice. packs, and they're not even that good. I mean, you got there's, you got your advantages for map packs, but wait, is this Activision this one? Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, Activision. You ruined Ghost. Or you ruined Call of Duty you once again. Up. So Taylor, this is where you add the an the animation with the gold star. You tried. <laughs> <laughs> you tried. You tried. So, you tried. Activision, I, I'm kindly asking you to please go fuck yourself with the world's largest cactus down your pi your pisser hole, go and then up God. your fucking rectum. Okay, let's let's get off the bag and try our Activision because <laughs> it's gonna keep on going, guys. So we got you, Borderlands up next, right? Borderlands. Borderlands. Uh, ah, my favorite games. Within, yeah, I'll probably Borderlands take. Two. You can take this one. Yeah, Borderlands One. You got the for the DLCs. If you get the season pass, you got the zombie. You got the zombie island of Doctor Ned. Never played it. You got the Moxies Underdome. Oh, Mad Moxie. Sorry, Mad Moxies Underdome Riot. Then you got General Knox, where you get cool stuff. And then you got Clap Traps and new robot res or. Wow. Revolution. Revolution. Ooh, you get kill you start killing claptraps for fun. I know you guys all have been waiting for that one. <laughs> and then you got your little uh season and then you got Borderlands yeah. two where you get your Mechromancer pack, your psycho pack, um you get the our campaign of Carnage, uh Captain Scarlet and her Pirate's Booty. Never played that one and then Everybody's favorite one. Wait for it. Drum roll. You got Tiny Tina's Assault on the Dragon Keep. Played a little bit of that and I was impressed by it. And then you got your little small DLCs. You have the Headhunter DLCs, which is their ones that are like two, three dollars. And those are seasonal ones like, you know, Valentine's Day, Christmas, Halloween. All that fun stuff. So in the end, how many DLCs are there for Borderlands, Borderlands 2? 2? Well, you got your skin and head pack. You got your one, five headhunter packs. And then you got two ultra ultimate, Vol ultimate, hunter packs. U ultimate and then you got the rest Four of Four DLC campaign. And then your two uh, class packs. So roughly 
over 10. 10 to 15. Yeah, about. Maybe more. Yeah. And then you got your little small end game <laughs> DLCs, but I mean, you can go for whatever you want, but. Yeah, that's true. I, I would order. If you guys already pre ordered the pre sequel, good for you. You get to play Claptrap. I know you guys have been excited to hear that. And then, but there is a new coming up in their first DLC for pre sequel. It is the Baroness that I'm wanting to look at, but there's nothing really. They haven't showed any of their her skills or what her special ability is going to be. So all they have right now is a character model. That's it. And it look. I mean, she looks good. I mean, uh, it's just one of those things. I hope it goes well with it, but we'll see. I want to see more characters into this one. So since Claptrap is going to be a douche about special abilities. <laughs> I'm sure you guys already know about that, but um, now moving on to Minecraft, the recently bought out by Microsoft, the game for two point five million dollars, the game that started out small and has now grown into a multi-billion game, a multi-billion-dollar industry, and Microsoft buys it out for two point five million dollars. So. If you guys have an Xbox, I'm and, sorry, don't get the Xbox One. If you and, already have the 360, uh, don't do the Xbox One. Notch quit. The creator of the game quit because it was bought out. Okay, so... He actually wanted to be bought out by him. Those, that poor man. So there's one thing, I for, um, not to be a rude or interrupt, but um, one thing one of my friends at school told me was that um, at e after E3... The guy that like announced Xbox One, yeah, he killed himself. He, he didn't kill himself. He got fired. No, if it, he good. said that he killed himself. If he got fired, good, because Xbox One. Well, which sucks. one are you talking about? Twenty thirteen or twenty twelve? Well, when was it first announced? The Xbox One. Yeah, twenty twelve. Yeah, twenty twelve. The twenty twelve E three. I think it was. He said it was after that. He just said after E3, he was uh, he killed himself after he announced the Xbox One. If you guys find that research, email us. Somehow email us. I want to know. <laughs> Post Fix, it in the comments. Fixlentertainment at gmail.com. Hey, uh, Crockhead95 yeah. at gmail.com. Hey, there you go, guys. I don't have mine set up yet, but pretty soon it will. So, with that being said, <sighs> the camera died again. Fuck it. Keep going. Yeah, temporary issues. We won't have the camera for the rest of it because I mean, it's being stupid. But sorry about that. Uh, wanna try it with iPod? IPhone? Nah, let's just keep on going. Yeah. Plus, this is kind of warm. Okay. So just hold on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got the camera. So off. no actual footage like we had. Like we had. Um. For the rest of this segment, this, Sorry, this it, sucks. <laughs> hey, but you know you saw our beautiful fla or beautiful faces You'll and our Lord see. and Savior, Big Catius Aurelius. So, um, inventor of Pixel Entertainment. So, thank you. With all that. that being said, um, I'm, I'm sure you guys have heard this, but BBC of America is doing. Doctor Who DLC for um, uh, for Minecraft. Minecraft, and they had so far they have the Doctor, his assistant, I believe it's the ninth or the tenth, oh. and then uh, the TARDIS. They okay. have the TARDIS, the uh, no. somebody's happy. I think oh. they had the Weeping Angel and also the Daleks. If the Weeping Angels are the creepers, I am done. Um. <laughs> No, it's skins like for your oh, character. Oh, good. Oh, thank God. Not a texture pack. Oh, if it, if the Doctor oh. texture pack, man, that'd be cool. Uh, but I'm a Doctor Who. I'm a Whovie in here, guys. But that would be awesome. I would play Minecraft for that. There's um. I was looking at some of the texture packs. There was a few new ones. I forgot what they were called though. Was one of them Doctor Who? No. Oh. Not Doctor Who texture packs. Not yet. Oh. No, but I forgot Damn. the name of it though. But. Oh. Eventually get it to you guys. Yeah. Anyways, uh, that'll be the next update. <clears throat> so with Microsoft buying it out, 
there may or may not be exclusive content. Not major game changing stuff like updates. But be expecting some exclusive skins like we've already seen like Banjo and Kazooie. Ratchet and uh, Clank. Ratchet and Clank on PlayStation. You Jack know. and Dexter. Have they All done that. Jack and Dexter in that? In yeah, one of yeah, them they, they did. Yeah, they did. But um, um and uh Left for Dead. Yeah, it's Left for Dead. Left for Dead is coming to PS three. It already as a is skin. It's already on there. I checked. It's as of a couple of days ago. Sorry, I'm playing with two I'm I'm doing this guys with two PS three players. I'm the only Xbox three sixty. Pretty soon getting the PS three. Hopefully right. getting the PS four. I'll be i I'll eventually be on the PlayStation four. Are you sure and about so, that? Hopefully. If In I, two months? Maybe, um, maybe not. So I'll enough about out. Minecraft Depends. and its sad demise. Oh my god. I'm gonna step into Microsoft's new plan here. Uh oh, what new plan? Um so, as we all know, Rare was bought out by Minecraft, or by Xbox, or Wait, Microsoft. Uh, yeah, back in 2000-something. Rare, Rare, the ones that made Banjo-Kazooie, Conker's Bed for a Day, all those games. Oh, all the good games. Oh, so, my God. Perfect Dark and so, all that. Well, we're on the topic of Microsoft. I said this. Microsoft, they're good at computers and other stuff. They are shitty at game systems. But you, you also gotta think they were also going when they first made the Xbox. They were trying to go try to compete with Sony for the PS2 yeah, or the, the, the PlayStation for a lot longer. And they're good yeah. at making TVs, computers. But yeah, look, Sony's making TVs, computers, phones, game systems. Yeah, they're all besides the superior. console war. Microsoft's newest direction is releasing arcade games. I, uh, um, I read that they're actually releasing a white Xbox One. Trying oh, to compete yeah, with the right. Destiny. The thing, is, the thing is, that has been announced since E3. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, and... If you guys have the but, chance, um, get Destiny. Just been watching it on the PS4. Just go, just go buy it. Go to GameStop and buy the... Uh, or go in-store and buy a $450 PlayStation 4 white with Destiny. Or exclusive online only for $595. You get the expansion pass. Uh... PlayStation Plus. Like, the pre-order stuff for it. Pretty much for, like, $595. Hmm. Online only. And it's worth... I said it's worth it. Because you get everything. You get a system. I think you get another controller, too. Hey. Destiny. You want to split up with that one? You want to split the money on that? <laughs> Destiny. I'm already uh, getting one. White PlayStation oh, 4. And then, like, the expansion Ooh. passes, too. And uh, subscription to PlayStation 5 Plus. I forgot how long, though, but... But besides the world's best console, they're... <laughs> Releasing the games, like Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie, Conker's Bad Fur Day, and a couple of others. And now, with the stuff that they've done, the remake of Conker's Bad Fur Day, and the remake of, or actually the sequel to Banjo-Tooie, which transitioned from Banjo-3E to Nuts and Bolts. It, they're... I, I hate to say this, but they're reviving those games. That's that. Might that be. needed to be revived, though. But I no, mean, but it's I, Microsoft. I understand it's Microsoft who's reviving. You know what they did to Rare? They're making them make Kinect Sports games. They bought them out, and they're making them do that. So they're practically making them their bitch, right? Yeah. Yep. So. That's another reason why I hate Microsoft. They they like buy out a company and then they're just like they crack off a whip make this game now. They're going to try and revive Banjo-Kazooie, Conquer, Perfect Dark, 007. Yes, 007 was made by Rareware, if you didn't know. And some of their other old games. And they're going to do remakes and possibly new sequels. And it's going to be Xbox only. This is how they're going to try and dominate Sony. Good luck. Sony's so going to come back. So then that means uh, Square Enix should remove uh, Kingdom Hearts uh, 3 from uh, Xbox One, too. And then, should. and then they would make it. They would, and then so they make that a Sony exclusive. Even though the place, even though Xbox is getting uh, all these uh, classic arcade games, well, then then you go to Sony. They're getting Kingdom Hearts. That means Sony sales would burst. You see what what they're trying to do is they're trying to pull the nostalgia card on their now 
PlayStation loyal fans rather than their ex- uh, Xbox loyal fans. Yeah. Um, Sony, however, is pulling that card as well. Only, with, only uh, on their PlayStation fans, though. Yeah. With Kingdom Hearts, yes, that's going on uh, sadly, sadly. It's um, going Xbox on One, but... Sadly, because didn't you say that Square Enix wanted them to? It's more money in their pocket, essentially, so... And then I... And then I and then you told me that, and then I said, if I was Square Enix, I would have told, I would have said straight to Microsoft, like, fuck off. You know what? Just because of that, you're not getting it now. Yeah, exactly. Because you're, like, delimating me to put it on, on Xbox a, only. On a, sub, on a inferior yeah, they game Yeah, they they wanted it on Xbox only, Microsoft but, uh, said, so that I would have said if I was I'd rather Square put it Enix. on the new, si- like, on the new system for the PS4 and but the gameware. I said if I was Microsoft, if I was Square Enix, I would have said, nope. Now, because of that... It's only going to be a PlayStation exclusive, and if they want it, they have to buy a PlayStation. Exactly. But besides all that, they're possibly going to remake Crash Bandicoot. <gasps> and what? And for Jack what? 4. Or for, 3. For what? PS4. Sorry, I... Okay. Naughty Dog is pulling out their old cards, and... Okay, I'm going to say this. Crash Bandicoot was always going to be my favorite. Dude. A favorite childhood game. So, um... Uh, those who are following the Activision and Naughty Dog debate, I don't remember how far back in time this was, but... Are they taming up? Uh, Activision doesn't own the rights to Crash Bandicoot anymore. <laughs> they didn't pay it, so it's up for grabs. And Naughty Dog has been teasing that uh, old faces are coming back. Like, they, they released uh, photos of Jack 4 on... Um, that was another game. Are you kidding me? Oh, well, he pulled out the PS1 games. I used to have that one. Crash Team Racing and the original Crash Bandicoot. Oh. Um, besides the nostalgia here. From, let's see. Dude, 19. 1996. Yeah, I was going to say, that's when I was, oh. it was like a year I was one. Jack, four Dude, pictures were posted up on one. Facebook. And I, I'm excited for this because... Jack and Dexter's coming back. Oh, Dude, if they did Ratchet and, um... Ratchet and Clank. Dude, they're gonna do that. If they do, they're making dude, the movie. Did yeah, you know yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. You didn't hear about that? Okay, sorry. I've known about that Spoiler, since... I, did, I didn't know that. Really? They're gonna make a movie out of this? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Jack and Dexter. After this, I'll play the trailer for you. Uh, but anyways, um... We'll cut this little segment out for you guys. <laughs> so... It, it's time that we move on to Battlefield. Ah, the game that I've never even played except once. As a diehard Battlefield fan, it's slowly dying. It's getting disappointing, so it's time to trash it. If you guys played the beta or the alpha for Hardline, I am sorry. It's time to trash talk it now. So, yes. Premium versus regular packs. Is premium worth it? Probably Probably not. To me, I'm half and half with it. You save money, you get exclusive content. Unlike Call of Duty. If you are a premium owner, this goes for any console that you play on or your PC. You get skins for your knife, camos, battle packs, and... uh, It's a firmware update. Ooh, firmware update, nice. For for your firmware 2.0 update. Where you can uh, take music from a USB stick drive. Put it in a PlayStation 4 and you can get it. Start share play. You got so the share. Let me uh, uh, finish up this here. Yeah. So that's, you get. That's uh, what I'm happy about. But premium battle packs, the DLC, all four DLC, might I add. Yeah. Uh, premium events like double XP and a bunch of content that you don't get with Call of Duty. But, well, Call of Duty did it once, and that would have been, like, in Black no, Ops 1. Everybody got the double XP event, though. Well, no, I'm talking about Black yeah. Ops 1. I mean, like, they, when they first actually gave you everything on the first go-around was in Black Ops 1. When, uh, I think that was, um, who did Black Ops 1? I think, what was it? Was it Treyarch? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Treyarch, you did well for Black Ops 1, but you suck at Black Ops, or Technically, Black Ops 3, Ghost. They didn't do Ghost. That was, quote-unquote, Infinity Ward. 
but you know Treyarch. For, for the final verdict, I'd say premium is worth it. See with me. If if you're a diehard uh, Battlefield fan like I am, then yeah, spend here. your money. Pretty soon I'm going to be with them. So like with you, since you're a first timer playing Battlefield Four, I would recommend getting everything premium edition. Yeah. That's like with you, Taylor, and you telling me to get Battlefield Three. You told me to get premium edition. Yeah, if if you have the chance, pick it up. It's the same price, but you have premium added with it on the disc. It's so basically it's like, if not? you guys don't understand what premium is, if you and if you understand what Borderlands is, if you get like the game game of the year edition for Borderlands one and two, it's basically that, but a little bit more awesome. So, <sighs> thank you, Microsoft, for um, fucking up Minecraft. Why? What did they do? Hey, hold on. J- just. Oh yeah, the. Uh, anyways, um. That's I'm a done. <laughs> I'm done. So, anyways, besides Minecraft, my infernal or, <laughs> God damn it, my final verdict on DLC is, yes, it's ruining the. Uh, gaming industry but it's also reviving it, it's helping yeah the developers are using it to milk the shit out of their games like EA oh there's a piece in this game that's broken we don't want to fix it we, we want to make it. people pay for it which is why we have over 500 pieces of DLC for um, Sims 3 Oh my god. Yeah, 500 pieces. Okay, if you guys play Sims, go get a life. There is a... Go out the door. There's reality for you. Don't play Sims. And, um... I'd say for certain games, it's ruining it. Certain games like Mario Kart 8, it is helping it. That is putting Nintendo... On the board again. On the board. Like, boom. Mario Kart has DLC. Oh, Mario Kart can do that. Well... Mario, Mar, or Nintendo, not Mario, sorry. Um, Nintendo went off the board when they released Wii, the oh first Wii. Oh my god, don't even remind me. But They got knocked off. I, I don't know about these guys, but when I saw that, it's, it's like, possibilities were flying. Like, uh, but they didn't. Oh my god, Link is coming to Mario Kart, the villager, Isabel. <sighs> oh my god. They're bringing in characters from outside of the Mario universe. Which is so, great. If they can do that, what about Smash Brothers? Ooh. So Let's go back to Smash. Now, for Smash Brothers, um, even though this should be the end of the video. Well, probably won't be. <laughs> uh, there is a couple of DLC characters. So far, they're rumored to be Chibi Robo, Mewtwo, Trixie Kong, and the fan favorite, Dr. E. Gad. Well, probably not fan favorite. No, the fan um, favorite would probably be Mewtwo. Yeah, to diehard Melee fans. Oh, uh-huh, yeah. But, yeah, I, so... Uh, there's really no limit with DLC. You can push out as much as you want. People just may or may not buy it. But, I mean, you, but, I mean, you got good... If you actually are, like, diehard fans for a game, like I'm with Borderlands, they are, like, with Battlefield buy the DLCs because it just makes it a lot funner and it'll make a lot la- it'll make the game last a lot longer than you think well I mean if you do the ghost yeah there's no campaign storyline to it it's basically they made that one for free for all multiplayer <laughs> so uh this is the end of the video of my final final uh opinion is the final opinions You'll start. What? We're doing final opinions. We'll start with you down at the end. Okay, so what the in, in the video, uh, we'll have each other's usernames. So mine, uh, DLC is going to be there whether you like it or not. Deal with it. What's your opinion? Ah, uh, I say they should only pl- do DLCs if it's an absolute where they're going to make money. Call of Duty, they didn't make money off the DLC, so I say Call of Duty, just stop making them. Or any game makers for Call of Duty, just stop making yeah, them. You're not, 
Fin- Infinity Ward. Stop making Call of Duty. Trinity Arc for sure. Let's. Sh- God, let's not make any more Call of Duties after Ghost. And uh, my final opinion is. Grow up. DLCs, you're not going to be able to get rid of them. Grow up. <laughs> Deal with it. DLCs, you, you don't like them? it? Too bad. And if you want, if there's stuff you want to play, uh, if there's some maps or some guns you want in DLC, buy it. And if there isn't, don't buy it. Don't waste your money. Or if you want to, waste your money by season pass, and then you get them home, and then you get them cheaper. Especially with Battlefield, you get them for free, and you get two weeks early access. Even though I did bash Call of Duty and part of Battlefield for doing this, I like DLC. Yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna say yeah. that it. DLC is good and it's helpful, especially um, updates too. Not just DLC updates. Just updates, yeah. And stuff. Um, and other stuff. Oh God. If we're gonna go buy patches, then I can talk Call about League. Call of for... Duty. Call of Duty is like far behind them. Oh yeah. Well, Battlefield is so so pretty newer. Call of Duty is like since still this back is in the 2000. since this is the uh, end of the video. <laughs> just please remember, these are our opinions. We don't get butt hurt. Just don't get butt hurt like people normally do on Facebook and Twitter and all those shitty social media sites. Like get the fuck over it seriously hashtag drama <laughs> oh my god um god, it's like chop core life. life chop core life wow uh shit what was it, what was it if you guys are watching this at job core or anything else you would understand high school uh, or if there, there too um no middle school it starts, oh. it starts middle school it starts early but by the way since he, this is like the final ending I'll get my channel up, up and running pretty soon, probably in the next couple of weeks, maybe next month. Will depend on my schedule, but I am Noob Thunder. <laughs> so this is CP Hacker ninety five. Lord of the Crazies one two three. Pixel Entertainment. All right. Oh my goodness. Uh, wow, we fucked up. Big time. But we're still going with it. Uh, so let's redo that. CP Hacker 95, Monfrotto Ponzol, and Noob Thunder signing off. Pixel Entertainment. See you next time.